What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a gun? That's Philly. That's Taz. It's the Taz the Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. Guys, what is good? It's Philly and Taz, and we are back with another Ren reaction video. It's another Ren edition. I can't take the credit for that. I heard that somewhere in the comments. That his Horrible. songs are renditions. Oh, you're 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 saying that to the subscribers because I didn't make that up. So subscribers, I just want to let you know he thinks the rendition is horrible. I didn't horrible. make it up. Yeah, that's fine. His rendition meaning that he has he does covers of certain songs, and that would be his rendition. It's actually pretty clever. It just probably went over your head. So I stick horrible. up for the people, no doubt about it. Guy's not that smart. With that being said, we are listening to Ren. <laughs> the song is called Girls. We have not heard this one yet, and we have no idea what it's about. At least I don't. I don't know which genre this might be. I don't know if he's singing, if he's rapping, if he's reggae, if he's busking. Not sure, but it must be about girls. So, uh, Taz, <laughs> any thoughts? Um, you know, otherwise we'll get into it. I have no thoughts. Philly just said it all. You never know what to expect with Ren. So, why guess? Let's let me comment more afterwards. I've never even heard of this song. Ren has so many damn songs that we haven't even touched upon. We've been doing him for a while. His videos that we have been doing him. Yeah, no. so, <laughs> his videos we have been doing. Them. Yeah, we've been watching his videos. We haven't been. You you've been doing him. I've been reacting to his videos. We've been doing two <laughs> different been, things here. We've been, yeah. we've been <laughs> reacting to his videos yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, me and, and me and Billy. Me here's, another, didn't do him. <laughs> here's, a, here's another song that I had never heard of in my life. I don't even know if who knows because he does he does visual videos and he does audio videos. I don't even know which one that is because we don't pre-watch. I just load it up and pause it and mute it so we can be real and authentic while we're recording. So anyway, let me shut the hell up and let's get this started. There'll be more said, of course, afterwards. So Ren Girls. <laughs> I hate you, Philly. <laughs> uh oh. The audio. Hey, yo. Let me tell you a story. The same story you've heard about a thousand times in a thousand different songs. About a girl. So I was at the bus stop waiting for the 33 when my eyes they fell upon the finest creature that I'd ever seen. I mean, Jeez. she was hot. How hot? Hotter than a chili curry hot. Damn, Damn that's, that's hot. You know it. And then she turned to me and she asked for the time. But then when I tried to open my mouth, man, I couldn't even reply because. Because I've never, ever, ever been very good with girls. They got me feeling kinda shy <laughs> that was you, Casanova, back hey, in the day. Yo, ever since I was a little boy, I was so awkward. I found it hard to hold a conversation. Oh, and then when I grew up, I didn't grow up. I just grew more introspective. A universe of people I neglected. I redirected focus into music, hocus pocus, making music in my bedroom like a wizard brewing potions. An ocean of awkward silences, they lay before me. The guy that gets the girl was never me. It's not my story because. Because I've never, ever, ever been very good with girls. They got me feeling kinda shy. Go, 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 go. I just can't look them in the eye. Go, 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 go. You know I'm asking myself why. This go, 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 go. They've got me going on my mind. I'll never be James Bond.
Wow. Now stop it. I stopped it. All right. Mm. See, now there you go. That was even more, that was different than a lot of everything I feel like we listened to him, you know, is just different from the next thing. He's, he does everything really interestingly and he has just his own flair and style and he nails every single one of them that he does. I like, I love the guitaring in that. I thought the guitar riff was cool. There was part of that where the, when he got into like the bassy part of that, uh, the riff, it almost reminded me of like the chili peppers a little bit, like a like, but, but at the same time, like with the girls, it reminded me almost like when the beastie boys did that song with girls. I hate bit. you. You make me sick, but uh, whatever. But anyway, I hate um, when it takes words out of my brain cells. I'm gonna start talking first. Go ahead. I mean, you only have two <laughs> brain cells, so now you're probably gonna fall out. And, you know, <laughs> but that being said, yeah, man, I thought it was catchy. You know, it was like a kind of like a fun side to him a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of a playful song. I don't know. This is a little bit older. So I don't know if at the time if this was like before he was sick or in the midst of him being sick or whatever the case may be. But like if he was ill at this time, it feel, feels like he found the level of at least having like a playful type of a song. It was kind of like an upbeat, happy kind of, you know, wasn't talking about some of what he was going through. Although if the song was real, like if it was about a girl that he really met, you know, at a bus stop or whatever, I don't know if it's a like true to life type, type of story or not. But even if it's not, it was. I liked it, man. I thought it was very cool, a little different from some of the other stuff he's done. But, um, hey, a very cool rendition as far as I'm concerned. Horrendous. Listen, a true friend. Horrendous. Horrendous. Fantastic. Remember, we keep it real here. A true friend will tell you if something is horrendous. Like, you'd ever watch, like, American Idol and, like, these horrendous singers go there and they're like, how did you get here? What made you come here? Oh, my friend said I should go. Wait They're minute. not true friends if yeah, they you, sound that bad. Huh? You really need to explain yourself here, okay? If what? his name, if his name is Ren, okay, and he does, I understand types of music, it, but I how is it, think but how horrendous. is it horrendous though? It's not like they were like. I mean, if anything, it's clever. I don't get. You have to explain to me why you think that's such a bad name. A rendition. I mean, I, I don't get how you don't think that's clever. Horrendous. That, that, anyway, no I'm sorry. Was it my turn to talk? I'm sorry. Give an explanation as hmm. to why you think you can't just say it's horrendous and have no reasoning behind it. Actually, I can. There's no rule book that says I can't. So you're just, you're just saying what I was saying. It, huh? What a joke. I mean, it wasn't clever, but anyway. How? So why? What, what do you mean? It's just you could put Ren's name. Think about it. You could put Ren's name with anything that starts ends with E N and add it to something. Does that make every word that you add it to well, wonderful? Well, let, let, let me find. Let me see you find a better uh, a better one than rendition. Uh, how about find nothing at all? Not everything it, needs something else. Because you have nothing. This is I, I I won this argument. This is ridiculous. It's, it's actually won. ridiculous. Okay, yeah. you won. Are you happy? Yeah. I agreed with no. you. Now, anyway, sh sh say less. Fi finish up with your horrendous say less. rendition. Of this See, fucking reaction video. It could be that, you know, some guys, especially, you know, Ren's not that old. It's not like Ren's in his 50s. So some guys are very nervous or quirky or, or don't know what to say to a girl. Like he said it in his song, like initially, you know, maybe once he gets in there and she giggles or whatever, he feels more confident. It happens, especially if this is, he's already young now. So this was made years ago. He was even younger. So it was, it was, it makes sense. I like it because it was lighthearted. Um, even though it's lighthearted and funny, it still takes a lot for him to admit that he has like, he gets nervous or whatever meeting girls. Not every guy wants to admit that. Some guys would be like, oh, I had no problem with that. I could, I could walk up to a girl at a bar and then you see his ass at the bar and he's not walking up to her. I personally never had that problem because this is the distinction. If you, if you realize in your brain, a girl can only say yes or no. So once you realize it's going to be 50-50, then that made me confident to walk up to a girl and be like, hey, I love this song. I want to dance. Either yes or no. So she says no. It's not like some shell shock. And no doesn't necessarily mean that she don't like me. She could have just broke up. She could not like tall guys. I don't know. She could not like the song that I like. It could be anything. Hey. But that's why I never had a problem with it personally. But I like, I respect back to Ren. I respect that Ren was able to put it into a song, you know. And he made it funny. I also thought the Beastie Boys, because that's something like their high pitched part when he was saying that, and the good, 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 good girls. It was it reminded me of Beastie Boys. So that was a good time back in the eighties. 
again, musically, I love the 80s and part of the 90s. So I like that. Um, you know, of course, of course, I wish it was a visual, but Ren has a bunch of just audios, but whatever. I'm used to them by now by him. Excuse me. What were you going to say, Philly? What are you dying to say? I don't even remember. You just kept going on and on. Oh, okay, and on. good. So anyway, so yeah, Ren is just really masterful of changing the dynamics, you know, like, like Philly has oh, said. Oh, I remember you know, now. Do, oh, that's nice. So he could do reggae. He could do, you know, all different types of genres. You never know what you're going to get. So yeah, I like this song. It was it was playful and 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 at the same time real. Would you want to say? It's interesting that a guy can get in front of a crowd of people on a street and sing his heart out in front of strangers and be able to do that, but would be but would be nervous about approaching a female and, and you know that's you know what I mean like you can get out in front of a bunch of people and sing, but you don't. You have no confidence in maybe talking to a woman, which I know it's not it's not the only person like that out there, but it's just an interesting dynamic because like not really. Well, I mean, public speaking and, and getting in front of a large audience is not exactly it can be nerve wracking, too. You no, know, because I'm the opposite. I have no problem walking up to a girl at the bar because, like I said, she can say yes or no. Whereas if you're singing in front of a crowd, that's not in a situation where they're going to say yes or no. They could be they could be like, boo, they could be like, you suck. They could. There's so many things that they can say. Whereas going up to a girl and saying, hey, do you want to dance? Or, hey, can I buy you a drink? That there's is really just boy. two choices. You're, you're making my No, you're, for me. you're saying you don't understand how a person can not be nervous walking up to a girl, but has no problem singing in front That's of a girl. That's not what I said. You just said it. What I said was, it's amazing that point. he's not nervous singing in front of people, strangers, but he might be nervous going up to a girl when... A girl can always say yes or no. So there's only two things, like you said, right? So he's more nervous about that than getting in front of people that he's never met before, and they could tell him to go fuck himself. He sucks. They could throw shit at him. Like, that, to me, would be more of a risk than going up to a girl and going, hey, can I dance with you? And she goes, yes or no. That's my point. That's because when you walk up to a girl, you got sometimes your heart's in it. And you know those feelings. You don't think you your don't heart's in those... it when you're pouring your musical, uh, like, like. You know out. what I mean? I mean, like amorous feelings. He don't have love for his audience like that. Why? Well, I... That's a different type of love. That's like just like our fantastics. Like I love our really true, genuine Man, fantastics. But I don't love y'all. I just love you in a different way. Love has many different tiers and levels, as you should all know. Same damn thing. Shut up, Philly. I don't even understand what you're talking about. I really don't. Of course he doesn't, because that no, would mean that he understands sensibility. That's not. You're not being sensible whatsoever. Are it's, we voting? Uh, yeah, pass. But still, that doesn't go back to where I was at before. With this, makes absolutely no sense. Sometimes I, I, I genuinely think you have to be from another planet. I am convinced of it. Yeah, I'm Proof from the planet me. of facts and real uh, reality. To me. Prove me where you were actually born at. Because I'm, I'm going to find out and find out you were born on Neptune. I'm, I'm, I have no doubt about it. Neptune's popping. So yeah. what's, what else do you want to know? Nothing. But thank you so much for being here. Oh, there's, this is, we're not answer passing it tonight, I guess. We uh, we liked it. Taz has me flustered once again. I've yep, never flustered. Met, never met anything like it in my life. And uh, it's going to continue to probably fluster and, uh, and blow the people's minds of everybody that are watching. So thank you so much for being here. As we reacted to this Ren video, another rendition, another Ren reaction video, and horrendous. another horrendous take from the man Taz over there. It's Philly. That is horrendous. It is the Taz and Philly show. Have a wonderful night. Peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>